What's up YouTube, it's Kenny again. Wanted to make a video, and it's going to just basically update my accounts and uh, what's been happening over the last couple of days. Uh, I've been in a bad spot for internet today and kind of got screwed a little bit on one play. I'm still way up in it, but uh, so yesterday had a big run up on SunPower SBWR. I went ahead and sold it, took $501 profit. That pushed my account across the limit of $10,000. Now, I was already hovering around that $10,000 mark, but yesterday was the first day that my account officially closed over $10,000. So I'm really excited about that. Excited to share that with you guys. I have personally put $6,250 of my own money in that account over the last seven months. And that is now, uh, the account right now is sitting at $10,550. Pretty damn good return if you ask me. So uh, that was SunPower SPWR sold that yesterday, $501. NNDM is running up today. I got 100 shares of that. I'm in that at $10.20 a share. I'm pushing up toward the $400 mark, and that's the one that kind of screwed me because I was at the $400 mark. It hit 14, it was up there at $14.20 and plus. And uh, I had bad internet access driving down this road in Indiana, and my, my charting and everything was in and out. And I missed the opportunity to sell it at $400, but I'm still holding on to it. I still think it can push a little higher <clears throat> and get back up there. If it hits 14, matter of fact, I better turn that chart on. If it hits 14 again today, I might sell it uh, and lock those profits in. Uh, my, the other plays that I've got, I am uh, up about $50 in OEG. I am up on CCIV, like 40, 50 bucks, something like that. Uh, PACB, I'm up $80. In phase, I've had that one for a long time. It, it's pulled back some today, but I'm up about $450 in that one. Uh, and then I'm down in Lordstown Motors about $80. I bought it a little too high. Not scared of it. And Planet 13 pulled back a little bit today, and I'm down like $10 or something in that. I'm not worried about that one either. Uh, that's where it's at. That's where the account's at. Now, in my cash account, uh, I just added a deposit in over there. We got about a 70% return over there, 68, something like that. Uh, NNDM got 42 shares of that over there at a cost basis of 764. <clears throat> so we're getting close to being back at double on that. And, uh, previously, my cost basis was $5, and I doubled down uh, at 1020 and brought it to 764. Uh, then I got uh, I got some Hylion over there that's up. I got some CLNE over there that's up. I got uh, BFT over there, which went on a run, and it's up pretty good now. I have my cost base is like $13 on that. Uh, and it was up to 19 at one point, so we're doing well on that. Uh, what else? There's one more thing over there I can't think of. <clears throat> So the accounts are both doing well. You know, we're, we're hovering around that 70% return mark on both. Uh, and I'm happy with it. Some of you guys, you know, I've been looking at the comments for the video I posted this morning. <clears throat> Some people did not like that. I apologize. I just got to tell it like it is. And, you know, that, that video that I watched just struck a nerve and, and uh, made me want to say something because it really feels like sometimes uh, he thinks that if you aren't trading the way he trades, then you're doing it wrong, you know. And I can understand that to a certain extent. And, you know, I don't want you guys to think that I'm bad-mouthing him. I, you know, I love his videos. I watch every video. Uh, you see I'm watching Financial Education 3. I watch all his videos. And, you know, but it's just sometimes people, I don't know, it just, it struck a nerve what he was saying, you know, like, he's better than me, like, he, uh, 
like if I'm not doing things his way, that it's wrong. Well, you know, you see, I just told you where my accounts are at. I mean, you know, my return has been phenomenal over the last seven months. And the fact of the matter is that I'm going to keep doing it this way until it doesn't work anymore. And when it stops working, then I'll think about changing my strategy and I'll adapt, I'll evolve, I'll do something different. You know what I mean? But for right now, this is what I'm doing. This is I'm making good money at it and I'm going to continue to do it this way until I'm proving that it doesn't work. And the way I, the way I execute this, you know, I'm not going to lose a bunch of money if the market drops. I mean, the market's red today and I'm up in everything. And the market, you know, it, I don't hold all of my account in one stock, you know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm across five or six, seven, eight different stocks over two accounts and something really bad would have to happen for me to go back down to six thousand dollars and i watch it closely enough that i don't let it get that bad you know what i mean if something goes down and it goes down too much i sell it i'm not scared to sell something in the red i i if lordstown motors goes down too much i'll sell that and then i'll buy it back in lower that's just the way it is you know so, I don't know. You know, everybody likes real talk all the way up until it really gets real sometimes. You know what I mean? So, yeah, if you appreciate the real talk, you know, I know a lot of you did like what I had to say. Looked like I lost a couple of subscribers, but, hey, that's fine. You know, not er everything's not for everybody. And, you know, I don't wish anybody any ill will. And, you know, I don't wish Jeremy any ill will. I hope he continues to be really successful and, I will continue to watch every single video he puts out because I enjoy his channel. And I think he's a good guy, you know. So, yeah, that said, if you like the real talk, you like the, the content, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys.